Okay, so we've graphed both of these functions using our slope or using our y-intercept and our slope. Now we need to create a piecewise function. So what's important about the piecewise function is for us to understand that we have constraints. If you guys, when I graph this, you guys can see that the domain of this, what's the domain of this function? Negative infinity to infinity. You guys agree with me? Right? So we just graph this for all x values. We graph this for all x values. But a piecewise function doesn't want you to do that. A piecewise function only wants you to dra graph for x values that it tells you to. So this one, so it wants us to take this function and graph it, but only for x values that are less than negative 2. Take this function and graph it only for x values that are greater than or equal to negative 2. So what we're going to do is we're going to graph these again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And that's up 1 over 1, down 1 to the left 1. However, negative 2 is over here, right? So I go down 1 over 1. That's negative 2. And everything that's going to the right, I'm not going to be concerned about. Here's negative 2. I'm go it's only wants you to graph this function for values that are less than negative 2. So everything up here, I am going to erase. And then it's less than, not less than or equal to. So therefore, this is a open circle. Now we should know what these points are. So negative 1, negative 2, to the left. Okay. Now let's do the other graph. Over here is that negative 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then we graph that. But again, this one is only values that are greater than negative 2. So instead of going down and to the right like I did over here, I know I am only really I'm only concerned about um, values that are going that are going to get me back over here. So at negative six, I go up two to the left one, up two to the left one, up two to the left one, up two to the left one. But I'm only concerned for values that are greater than negative two. Wait a minute, what did I do? Did I type in the wrong? This isn't what I did. I graph the wrong ones. Oh crap. Oops, I graphed the same one. OK, well, yeah, well. Um, so that one's full. And then it's continuing down like this. Does everybody see that? Yes? Yeah, greater than 2. x values that are greater than 2. Is negative 1 greater than negative 2? Is 0 greater than negative 2? Is 1 greater than negative 2? Yeah. So as you go to the right, all those x values are greater than negative 2. So that's why we graph to the right. And we graph to the left, it goes from that way. Yes? So if the x is less than negative 2, then you can erase the whole Correct. Thing. Correct. Um, now let's go ahead and talk about, um, if we were to go ahead and take a look at this, let's go and talk a little bit about our evaluating, which we did on our um, if I was going to say, what is f of 1? The biggest mistake students made on their summer packet was they plugged 1 into both of those equations. Now let's visually look at this. Here's the graph. f of 1, which function am I dealing with at 1? This function, which is that, because 1 is greater than or equal to negative 2. So you're not plugging it into both equations. You're only plugging it into the one where it's satisfied. Does that make sense? A ton of students plugged it into both equations. You know, you're only plugging into the equation where it's satisfied. If you were to do f of negative 2, you go to negative 2. It's open for this, so it's not satisfied there, James, but it's closed over here. So therefore, that's why you'd again plug it into the same equation. Does that make sense a little bit now? OK. Um, last thing I just want to do is let's identify the domain. If you guys are going to look at the domain, again, we want to say how far left does this graph go? Negative infinity. And then it goes all the way to here. It doesn't equal negative 2, but which one does equal negative 2? Down there, right? So there's, this is what we call a discontinuity, but it's not a discontinuity in the domain. It's a, discon it's a jump discontinuity, but it's not a discontinuity in the domain because 2 is a value, and then that goes to infinity, right? Or x. Remember, we're talking about x values. So my domain is negative infinity to infinity. 
Whereas my range, if we're looking at range, how low does this graph go? Negative, Negative infinity. And then how high does it go? Four. four. One, two, three, four. Now, you might say, and again, that's open because that's an open circle. You might say, well, there's nothing here for this function. You're right. There is nothing, there is nothing here for that function. But there's something on this function. And that's what piecewise functions are. You can include both of them. Okay? All right. Yes. Yes. Um, 